If I had to leave Earth, I would take my sword because my sword helps me to understand my body and it helps me to cope with different body dysphorias by conceptualizing and materializing what I think my divine femininity looks like in the sense of my divine feminine manifest in the warrior form. So I'm able to take my sword and use it like an extension of me, like it's part of my body. Well, if I had to leave Earth, I really like it here on Earth, so it'd have to be something pretty bad for me to want to leave it. Um, I suspect the world would be ending in some sort of cataclysm. And I probably wouldn't be leaving by myself. And so I would bring uh, my digital audio recorder. So I could record people's recollections of what the Earth was. Um, I think that would be really important uh, if our world ended. And then it would also be nice if we encounter um, aliens in, in space. I could interview them, talk to them about who they are, uh, get an understanding of what new world we're going to. If I had to leave Earth, I would bring candy. My camera. A shell. My phone. I'll be the first person on Mars with a phone. I would distract aliens with the candy. My favorite thing to do is taking pictures of my sister. If I had to leave Earth, I would bring my Bible with me. Um, I've, I've only had it for like two years now, and it's definitely been really helpful for like stress relief or just um, relaxation. Whenever I need to take a break or whatever, I'll grab my Bible. My personality is very decorated and extravagant, so I definitely didn't think that I would want to carry around like a plain Bible with all the decoration on the inside. I feel like it was a lot nicer to have it painted and decorated and then uh, skies are my favorite, so I just painted the sky on the front and then the back is like at night, so it's two skies, one at night and then one during the day. Well, in thinking about what I would take with me, I have to first think about what space is there. Uh, and if you think of Afghanistan right now and everyone leaving Afghanistan, there's very little room on those cargo planes, human life first, so whatever we take small. So what of art? I brought um, a postcard. The originals maybe can't fit on the ship, so does the postcard become more valuable? And this is a Masaccio, the expulsion of Adam and Eve from paradise. And as we leave, maybe that's what we're doing, leaving our paradise. What of love? Um, a knot of hair, which I brought, but this is um, a child's shoe, my late sister's shoe, which I have treasured. If I had to leave Earth, I would bring my guitar. The, my guitar was given to me uh, when I was 19 uh, for my aunt who uh, was an opera singer. And she had the uh, flood in her basement. The only thing that survived the pl flood was this guitar floating on the top. So she grabbed it and she gave it to me. She said, you can keep it as long as you promise me that you'll keep playing it. And playing the guitar has been the trajectory of what my life is as a musician. And I think I would bring my guitar because it has helped me through so much through my life to be the musician that I am, to be the person that I am, um, to have the ability to communicate with people. And if I have this, then when I go somewhere else, wherever this somewhere else is, I think I'll have something that can work as a uh, communication. Uh, because music is universal, so I'll be able to speak to whoever's there through my musicality and through just creating. I think it would give me almost a fearlessness because I wouldn't be afraid um, to keep creating and not be afraid of what's next or what's to come because it could, would be daunting if I had to leave Earth and leave everything. So um, I would want to have something where I know that I could um, continue my creative process, continue using my imagination uh, to make my space better and to create something that is magical wherever I go. So. I'd like to take my, my paper with me with this uh, hurricane uh, story that they did on me. I'll maybe be able to show people, you know, my experience of the uh, evacuation or uh, during the time of Hurricane Katrina and let them look at it and read it and see what we went through during their times.
Well, it's like a, a historical thing with me, you know, for this to happen, you know, to me. And uh, I was able to survive the hurricane during the time when it happened. And all I went through during the time when this was going on with Katrina. And I didn't know where my family was or anything. And they didn't know where I was until our Red Cross got in touch with my family to let them know where I was. And they were able to uh, get me out of this uh, situation that I was in.